Can you talk about sugars and tooth decay in terms of processing? The, if you must have sugars or carbohydrates, uh, the less processed the item is, the better off it is for you. Uh, for instance, if you're going to have uh, an apple, it's infinitely healthier to eat that whole apple with the peel and everything than to have apple juice. Apple juice becomes a pretty nasty uh, food for children because it will cause tooth decay, it does have sugars, although it's not uh, refined sugar, uh, but it's still sugar and uh, it still causes tooth decay. Well, we try so, to teach patients that uh, fruit juices with a lot of sugar in it are not healthy, whereas the fruit is. So you're just reinforcing in dental care, getting an apple itself as opposed to the juice, same concept is better for the child. Okay. Exactly. And also the, the action of chewing a fruit cleanses your teeth. The pulp of the apple. The pulp of the apple, the fiber. The fi and the fiber is very important for your digestion and uh, your whole uh, body's health. I actually w went to a uh, well-known GI uh, nutritionist in Jerusalem. He talks about uh, the uh, glucose load. And if you take the carbohydrate, you should drop the fiber, and you look at the net, which is the sugar load. So if you have a lot of fiber in it, it neutralizes a lot of the sugar load. So those usually find in fresh fruits and vegetables, not processed food that you just said. Absolutely. So it reinforces uh... that. It's very important to have the natural product.